Hello everybody, it's Alex here, and uh, welcome back to episode number 11 of our Breath of the Wild playthrough. So, in the last one, um, what we did, uh, if you can see the path we went on, we kind of jumped around, went from down to a couple new shrines up here, and then we ended up uh, over here. There's some new places, and now we're here at the end. Um, uh, but we didn't quite get to this purple pin over here, which is where I intended to go next. Um, which, if you look this way, it's that tower. Uh, it's the tower kind of into the volcano area. Um, so I think that's where we're going to try to go next. I'm a little bit... Uh, it's actually... it's It's been a little bit since I played this game again, and... Uh, like, maybe like a week. But every time... I don't play for a little bit. I forget like half the controls. So I hope that my combat isn't horrible. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's not what I meant to do to start off the bat. And ow! Well, I mean that wasn't the smoothest, but I didn't die barely. <laughs> Okay, let's eat some of these. Maybe that wasn't the best plan. Um, Mighty Simmer Fruit one. Eh, let's just eat that. That's good enough. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten the Energizing one, but that's okay. But yeah, that wasn't exactly the smoothest start to this. Uh, <laughs> so let's hope that this goes better against the next thing I encounter. Because uh, I did actually mention uh, briefly that I might try to do the Divine Beast in this episode. Um, yeah, I don't know. Especially if the combat is still that rough. I only have six hearts, and I feel like it's probably best to explore more of the map first. I don't know. That's just what I think. Um, should I be stopping and talking to these people? I don't know. I'm just going to make my way up to that tower. I'm concerned about how close I can get to it, actually, without... Uh, without um, the heat from the volcano, like, getting in the way. Did that not kill it? Interesting. Oh, much better. Oh, that was so much smoother. All because I hit the arrow in the right spot originally. Okay, good. So, I'm not entirely clueless. Yeah, I was saying, like, I hope I can get high enough to look closer to the tower without the heat from the volcano burning me into a crisp and making me look like one of these things. I can't see it now. Oh, hi. Okay, who is making that, like, groaning sound? Over here? Okay. Are you trying to tell me something? We are not the monsters here. I survived, alright? Here, take this as a thank you, brother. Oh, okay. It's just supposed to help me get further. So the fire privileges will get me closer. Uh, well, give me, like, heat proof from the volcano. Um, I thought that looked like a shrine type of thing, but it's just stones. I'm going to not worry about it. So, I would imagine it's probably this way. There are a lot of dead guardians around. There's probably a live one somewhere. I need to hit... ...with these arrows, man. Oh, there's a live guardian. It's over there. That is... ...terrifying. I think that might be the first, like, full guardian I've seen in this playthrough. Um... I'm going to ignore it for the time being. Thank you very much. Ow! That thing just charged me! <laughs> like, I just got tackled by a friggin' ostrich. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I, th 
think we're close to the tower now. I mean, the purple. I can see the pin on my mini map. I guess just at the top of this rock thing. Oh, I almost didn't make that. I hope there's enough ledges for me to get up. Like, I should have saved that energy food thing for something like this. I'd probably have a couple more. Actually, let me check before I start. Let me the rest of the way. Um. Okay. Oh, I do have two. Although they both heal a lot of hearts, which probably is more valuable, so I'll try not to use them if I don't have to. I think I'll be okay. Oops! Let's not do that. Oh no, I hit B when I meant to press X to try to jump higher. Okay, good. Okay, we made it up. And da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this is one of the easier towers to get up. There's nothing like protecting it. Most of them have something surrounding them. Like there were no enemies or anything. I'm okay with this. I just hope I can get up there. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll just eat one of those food things. I can always make another one. But I think we'll be okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Is wear my climbing thing. This. That's better. It's like, it's a small increase in speed, but it's enough to make a difference. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Nice. Used like every amount of that energy wheel I had, but we made it. This, this game is gorgeous. I'm so excited for the sequel. Like, honestly, the sequel comes out in May, and I'll be done my my term, so I'll just be working or whatever I'm doing. And so I'm probably, when it comes out, just going to do, like, as like a full playthrough as quickly as I can. Or maybe stream or something by that point. Um, I've thought about trying to stream, but I want to maybe build up a bit more of uh, followers first. Because, like, I currently have maybe 20-something subscribers on here and, like, 80 on my TikTok. And if I go live on here, I'm going to get, like, one person. It's probably just going to be, like, my friend that likes everything that I do. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's put the hood back on. I guess we can put the better armor on too. Okay, where are you next? Because we're not climbing the tower. The the we're not going up the volcano right now. What is that? Oh, it's just like the way the light's hitting the ground. Um. Where should I go? I mean, I could try and get more. Pins. Should I explore more like where I've been? You know what I should do? I'm going to do some side quests. That's what I'm going to do because I have a few that I haven't finished. Uh, side quests. So let's see if I have any that are not from the DLC, but I, maybe I'll do a couple from the DLC if they're in the um, that one involves going into the castle, which I'm not going to do yet. Um, okay, what is this? Dueling Peak Stable. 
The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river's source. My little twin. So the, the twins are the mountains, which is here. My cave rests above the river's source, which is that here? Because if the river goes this way, wait, I need to see which way the river flows first. Yeah, because this is the shorter mountain, the north one, and that kind of goes over the river a bit. Okay, let's go see which way the river flows. And then whatever's on the upstream end is, I guess, where I'm supposed to go? Okay, so I just need to glance at the water. I think I was right, though. Yeah, it flows that way. So, the river's source is on this end of the river, which is Lake Jara. I don't know if I've ever been here, like, properly. Well, we'll start at the top of the tower and see what we can find. All right. Where am I going? This way. This lake over here? Oh, wait, no, I'm still facing the wrong way. Is that the lake? So I'm looking for a cave or something, right? I should be careful because I was playing more Pokemon Violet or Scarlet or whichever one. And uh, there's no fall damage in there. A lot of the controls are different. So I'm like, was perfectly ready to like just glide all the way down. Hi, Koraxi. And then drop and then take fall damage. <laughs> Okay, so this has to be where it is, right? Um, let me read the thing again. My cave rests above that river's source. So... Okay. So it's up somewhere, I guess. Let me try to climb up over here. Okay, so we made it to the top. There's the like waterfall-y thing that we were looking at. Um, so it says it's above the river source. So is there like a cave or something up here? I don't see anything. Oh, is it like literally right there? Maybe, maybe not. I thought it was like... What if I... I was actually not convinced I wasn't going to just fall and die, but it the water seemed to slow my fall somehow. Um... What if I did the waterfall thing up? And if it won't even let me. Nope, it won't even let me. I'm never up to these energy. Okay, am I at like... Hold on, there was a chest there. Wait a sec. What is that? Oh, it's a choo choo jelly. Oh, that's funny. I actually killed one when I got to the top and then started, like, recording again after. But I guess it fell. What is this chest, though? 
Because this is in the right spot. Can I open it from here? No. I got rid of my Korok leaf, didn't I? Huh. I'm not running out of energy again. Boo. I could have gotten up right there, too. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, so I gotta start at a point where I can access the water from down here. And I need to uh, cryonis my way over to that chest. Because I'm convinced I'm in the right location. It would be stupidly funny if I'm not. And I just fell right off the block. Watch me be in the completely wrong spot and like everyone who watched this has already played this game and knows exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Why can't I paraglide? X, X, there we go. What is in here? Okay, gems. Did that have anything to do with the side quest? There's no way. It's just 50 rupees. <sighs> okay, let's go explore up top again, I guess. I think this is a faster way up. Wow, I like took forever to get up the first time, but I could have just gone here. Much better. <laughs> okay, there must be a cave up here. Is it somewhere up like up that way? Or is it, I feel like that'd be too far away from the river though. I should practice my combat more. If it's just red book goblins. Much better. Okay, well, if I'm just gonna hit them with arrows in the right spot before they see me, I can pretty much kill anything as long as they have the right arrows. But where am I going? I mean, this is... unless it's this way. Maybe it's here. Okay, let's explore here for another, like, minute, and then we'll go see if it's in that other spot. Because I'm not seeing any sort of cave here. Like, at all. I feel like I'm going too far away from the lake for it to mean anything. And the other spot would make a little bit more sense because it's closer to where the stable is where I got the shrine quest. I'm just gonna check over there for a minute. Oh no. I hate these Octorok things. Don't attack me. What weapon do I got out? No, like this kind of weapon. Uh, do I have a spear? I don't. Okay. I don't know why I was so concerned. It's a red one. Oh my god, I like shot its leaves off its head, but missed the Octorok itself. That's like a much harder target to even hit. That means I'm the best at archery, apparently. I would think so, right? Um, there's no cave up here though. Someone's lying to me. Hmm. There's a 
cave in the tree. No, okay. Um, it's time to go try the other spot. Um, I guess the stable is it's like itself the best place to start. Okay, okay. Um, oh, I was gonna put like a pin or something on the thing. So I know where I am going. Okay, follow the green pin and we'll get to the destination in good time. I'm trying to figure out like long term what I want to do in this game. Like, I mean, I want to, I guess, I guess just get to Ganon, but I want to do all the like main quest stuff. Um, like, I doubt I'm going to spend the entire like finding every single shrine or Korok seed. But like a decent amount. I'm thinking around like probably end up being like 30 episodes long, maybe, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how long I make the episodes. Um, I do anticipate it's going to be longer than my than my Violet playthrough one. I think a Breath of the Wild playthrough will always be longer than Pokemon. Because like there's so much more you can just do. Why are there Octoroks here too? I don't like you. My shrine indicator is going off too. Which direction? Well, it's not really like making the sound. Oh, there we go. I was like, is the sound broken? I guess I was just not close enough. Okay, it's gotta be there, right? Yeah, this location does make a lot more sense because it's it's so much closer to where you got the quest initially. This weapon sucks. My whole weapon selection is not excellent right now. I wonder if I can just like. And as soon as he pops up again, if I don't stop, like, aggressively trying to climb this tree. Um, hello, goodbye. <laughs> hello, goodbye. That was fun. Uh, onto the shrine. Not the shrine, where am I going? Going to wherever this treasure is. A bear! I was like, what is making that noise? There's a cave there, too. Okay, I want to see what's behind that cave. Although, what's the best way to get a bomb over there? So the answer with water is usually Cryonis. Ah. There's the shrine. That's probably where it was in telling me to go. Um, so yeah, sometimes you find that like rubble in the side of the mountain and it takes you directly to a shrine. There's a few of them hidden like this. I honestly, it's quite, quite possible that I never even found this one on my main game because I don't actually remember this. Like at all. Oh, it's another apparatus shrine. There was a person on uh, one of my more recent ones that commented like, you make apparatus shrines look entertaining. And I'm like, I'm really glad it comes across like that because I hate them. Although this is not so bad. All I have to do is that. Maybe this is supposed to be one of the like earlier ones. I'll, I mean, no, that's just the beginning of it. I should stop speaking until I... Whoa, 
wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Is that gonna stay? Please be good enough, because I don't want to redo this. Thank goodness. Yeah, I don't like these types of shrines. At all. <laughs> Ugh, how many are there? <laughs> oh, I bet you there's a chest on here. And I have to flip it one way to get the chest, another way to knock the chest. Wait, what is this? Yeah, like I said, a chest. Although, I want to know what those orange lights next to it are. Can I cut it to like flip around quite the way I want? Um... No, the other way. No! Come back. Well, let's just see what this looks like. B. Cancel. Thank you. Okay, well, sure I can get there, but I don't know if I can get back up. Well, I guess I can just glide back down there. Okay. I was like, it's just fire. Oh! Oh, okay. Maybe just like the fire was just there to help me notice the chest as I'm moving the apparatus around. I almost missed that landing. <laughs> and then almost fell off the other side of the stairs. Um, okay, so I guess I'll need the key for something afterwards. wonder if that'll work. So hopefully I can jump down from the other side. Man, I hate these shrines. <laughs> yeah, I did need the key. Well, I'm glad I did that first. Is there anything else in here? Is there no chest in this shrine? There's usually like an item chest somewhere. I don't really want to go hunting for it, but... I guess not. I mean, I don't care. I just want to get out of here. Thank goodness that this shrine is finished. Oh, six spirit orbs. Okay, I really should. I'll find like two more first. Okay, so I guess next I'm gonna go find that side quest cave thing. Oh, that was a useless cryonis box. I guess I could just swim anyway. Swim to swam. I can speak English. It is my first language, in fact. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a cave up. Yep, 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 yep. That has to be it. That has to be it. It's above the waterfall, which is above the river source. And I bet you there's a Korok seed in that middle, like, thing as well. Yep. <laughs> it gets kind of easier to tell where, like, what is what. Like, if you have something standing alone on, like, a piece of land like this, then you're pretty good clue that it's a Korok seed. Um, like, a rock or something you can pick up. I guess it can go up that way. I don't know if it'll let me dash up this waterfall either, because it doesn't really have, like, a solid top to it. I don't think. I'm not going too far up. Yeah, I can... Oh, I can't walk here. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, we're 
fine here. Mm, oh, that's it. It was a much shorter climb than I expected. Okay, now I need to mount that. I need to not be right here. Can I set it off? Can I do it while I'm climbing? No, I guess not. Ooh, I can do it from here. Boom. And boom goes the dynamite. And here's the treasure! Look at this, there are like four chests in here. Okay, well that sucks. <laughs> Ooh. Hardy Trouble's good. Anything in these barrels? A steak, nice. And a bird, bird leg drumstick. Wait, there's more to it. Huh, I wonder if people missed this last one. Okay, what's in these chests? Okay, opal's good. Give me some more piece. Oh, I just have to open one of them to complete the side quest. Okay, good. Amber. Sapphire. So this is one of those side quests where you could, like, if you happen to find this cave without ever having talked to the those people in the in the um in the stable which i did like a couple episodes ago that uh like if you just came here flame blade that's not terrible it's just gems and a blade um but yeah if you happen to find this cave accidentally without ever having started the side quest it would still complete it by coming in here what am i looking for weapons I'm gonna get rid of that, I guess. I have two flame blades now. I don't always like having two of the same elemental weapon, because it gets better to have a different one. But at this point, it's probably not um, the worst first uh, thing, because I haven't really found any like much electric or ice weapons yet. Okay, what am I doing next? Another side quest, I guess. Um, right. This is the one where I was supposed to take a picture of the Lionel, but I messed up because I took the picture and then I died. And then my autosave was before I took the picture. So I forgot that I didn't actually get the picture taken. Um, I'm not doing that one. Playtime... Right, I never went back and found her in, in um, Kakariko. Kotler runs carefree around the village during the day. Her sister is too busy to pl uh, with her cooking to have time to play. So I have to go find her. We were supposed to play tag. Um, it's also 4.30 in the morning, so I don't think she'll be outside. So I gotta go and like swim or something. Yeah, I'm convinced I've actually never seen this shrine. <laughs> Quite certain. Uh, Kakariko. Okay, so we're in Kakariko. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's a different time of day so we can find this little child. Unless she's right there. Oh, no. That's the one that, uh, 5.30 in the morning, these kids are out. Also, it's raining anyway. I'm going to just change the time of day. That's the one that cooks. We had a little side quest with, with that, with, uh, right here. And then she gave us, like, a carrot soup thing. Um, the inn is what I want. Okay, like, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna go to. Tr I'll get the soft bed, why not? Splurge, live a little. Morning, I actually meant to hit noon. Oops. Because <laughs> morning was in like. very, very soon. Oh, Blood Moon. 
Okay, this is the second one. And both of them have happened while I chose to spend the night asleep. Oh, I guess it goes to 5 a.m. Okay, so it, I just jumped an entire day. I still think it's too early, so we go to sleep again. <laughs> Waste of rupees, but that's okay. Noon. I was like, because I for, for a moment I thought that it was like 7 o'clock when you wake up in the morning. But it ended up being... Five o'clock, and so I was like, oh. why is it doing a blood moon? Because I thought it was gonna just jump ahead in time like an hour. But that makes more sense. 5 a.m. for the morning. Do I have an apple? Oh, wait. I've already done this. Because the core is right there. Okay, we're playing tag or hide and seek or something with the little girl, right? I don't remember. It was like episode four or three. Is that you? Or are you still? Oh, yay! Oh, okay. We gotta start a new game. Hide and seek now. Okay, I'll go hide! But I, I've gotta go home to Sis when it's dinner time, okay? Sorry, I didn't do her voice from the beginning. But where could she be? I have a long time to find her now. Uh, I forget if she's like. could be in a house or something. Maybe playing tag would have been the smarter choice. Oh no, she's not in here. <laughs> That's funny. For some reason I'm just like, I'll kill this thing because it's there. I guess you can't really kill a cuckoo. I'm so worried she's gonna be like inside a house. Could she go like in the clothing store? What is this one right now? Yeah. I guess not. I guess, I mean, like, you can't really walk too far in most of these buildings. This guy's house? The, like, the cuckoo man? Hmm. Maybe she doesn't go inside the house. She goes behind a house or something. Ooh. That would be more likely. Or would she go up, like, by Impa's place? I don't know! I don't know! I actually have no idea where she is. If you couldn't already tell. Okay, but we don't need to be climbing the house. Okay, well, she's not back here. Oh, wait, she is back here! Hi! Hi! Oh. Hi! Okay! And boo, you found me! That was so fun, though! This is my secret treasure, but here, you can have it. Crunchy Crunchables! Rock salt. It's just for making... That's funny. Oh, that's it! Oh, I thought I have to do that like a couple times. Cool! Okay, what's next? Um, slated for upgrades. Okay, so I gotta go back to Hateno. I guess. And talk to Pura, or I mean, the lab by Hateno. Alright. Oh, wait, I have that front door is right in front of me. <laughs> this doesn't look like a door. Okay, let's see what you gotta say. Hey, you! Something on your mind? Uh, who's Robbie? Is that what I'm about? Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's still up on the edge of a cow at Research Guardians. Haven't seen him in a hundred years, though, so who knows? Anything else? Uh, something good? 
Aha, uh-huh. I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. Oh, oh, this is how you do this. Okay. You'll need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. You'll need three ancient shafts to power up your remote bombs. You'll need three ancient cores to power up stasis. Uh, if we're on the same page... If we're on the same page, stop staring at me. Hurry up and bring me some ancient materials. Oh, was that it? Okay. Do I have anything? I have three ancient gears. This is not an ancient core. This is an ancient giant ancient core. It's a different item. Um... Ancient spring. Wait, that one's the screw, right? I guess I don't have any of the... Um... Oh, that's funny. I can't see how many I have because it's. I'm watching a version where I'm, I can see me here. Hi. And uh, it's completely blocking. But the ancient shafts are there. So let's see if I have enough. Okay. With the sensor, sure. Oh, I'm forgetting to read her voice again. Sheikah sensor power up time. Yahoo! For that, three ancient screws should do the trick. Especially, I'm powering up the uh, Sheikah sensor. Three ancient screws and a cute snap. Here I go. Snap. Hey ho, got it. Okay then, Sheikah sensor upgrade underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Oh yay, my favorite animation. Hmm. <laughs> My favorite. I get to do it two more times, too. Okay. Uh, searching for compendium items. If your sensor has been augmented to search for things other than shrines, it will react. Okay, so basically, it's, basically what will happen is if I set a different thing, so I can set like a type of mushroom or a type of bug or a type of enemy. I don't know exactly. Um, but it's gotta be something I've taken a picture of. I think that's how that works. And then it'll ping, like let's say I need a certain number of mushrooms for a recipe or something. I, I can ping that so it tells me if I'm close to one uh, instead of the shrines. But I'm just gonna leave it on shrines for now because that I find out the most useful, especially this early in the game. Okay. Yahoo! My little guiding stone did the trick. Hee <laughs> hee! Ooh, the Sheikah sensor plus. I really want to see it. Yes, quite. If you don't mind, how about showing Simon that spiffy Sheikah sensor plus later? Oh, he has a little quest for me with it. Maybe I'll do that too. Okay. Hey! Did you bring me any ancient materials? I did. So which rune should, do you want to power up? Let's do remote bomb next. Remote bomb power up time. For that, I'll need three ancient shafts. I'm pretty sure I have three. Three ancient shafts and an epic snap. Here I go. Okay, good. Hey ho, got it. Okay then, remote bomb upgrade underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. This girl might be my favorite in this whole game. She could okay. Uh bum 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 plop It's the best. Uh, powered up bombs now have a stronger blast and recharge faster. The force of the blast can damage monsters or destroy objects. The, yeah, yeah, okay. So it's just basically a stronger bomb. <laughs> Yahoo! My little guidance stone did the trick, hee hee! If you have any other runes uh, you'd like to power up, just let me know. One more. Hey, did you bring me any ancient materials? I did. So which rune do you want to power up? Stasis, the only one left. Stasis power up time. Yahoo! For that, I need three ancient cores. Oh, wait. I don't have any. Wait. No! 
Oh, okay, I gotta find ancient cores and come back. That's annoying because stasis, when you power it up, you can stasis enemies and helps in combat. Um, okay, Simon, hello. You've acquired the Sheikah Sensor Plus. That should really come in handy. With that, you can sense things that you've captured with your camera. Explaining won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let me see here. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sun's room with the camera. There is one behind the lab. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Is that it? I'm pretty sure the first time I did this, I... Yeah. Accidentally picked it instead of taking the picture. And so I had to, like, wait around for it to respawn. Which sucked. Um, I don't know if there were, I mean, I could have just done a, a new save file, but I probably didn't know you could even do that yet. Um, okay, ah! Or, like, an older save file of the same, like, the same campaign back, like, a couple of minutes. Um, were you able to take a picture of a sunstream? Yes. Let me confirm. It seems like you got a picture of a sunshroom. Excellent. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium and tune the sensor to your picture of the sunshroom. The Sheikah Sensor Plus will then be able to sense sunshrooms. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. This seems like a nice opportunity to ask you if you'd bring me three sunshrooms. You can find sunshrooms growing in Retsom Forest, I believe. The Sheikah Sensor Plus should make it a snap. Okay. Is there actually a book I need to read? Cute stamps. I guess to, uh, stamps are simply a mark that you can place on your map. They're incredibly easy. Yeah, I've already done that. Uh, I'm not going to bother reading these books. Um, okay, so... I guess to finish this... Ratsum Forest. I don't actually know where that is. Oh, it's just up here. Um, but I need to do the like tuning thing. So I'm gonna go into the compendium and find the sun shroom. So it'll be under materials. Oh, it's right there. Target with sensor A. Okay, so now my Sheikah sensor is. See, it's kind of green now. And then we can attune to Sunshrooms. Huzzah. Huzzah. But yeah, it's just like before. I see one. So I get really close to it. It should freak out. Sunshroom. It didn't really work that well, but... That's okay. That, that's that's the premise. I'm probably going to turn it back to shrines as soon as I've done this, but I got a radish out of it. Nice. Okay, two. Yeah, it's, it's working like it's supposed to. And then we'll go back to the lab. Oh, I guess I can just teleport there. Seems simpler. And we can go, the door is right there! I'm not running around the whole building again. Uh, and then talk to him. Yeah. Hello. Oh. I see you brought the sunshrooms. Okay, now please hand over those three sunshrooms, sure. Thank you. There you go. Oh, nice. So, was the Sheikah Sensor Plus to your liking? Oh yes, I just remembered there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Stop by when you have time to talk. But that must be that whole quest. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, good enough for this episode. Um, so as always, thank you for watching, everybody. And we'll see you in the next one. Alrighty. Bye-bye.